Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Get It, a creation by Amy K. Hutchins. Get It 2020 offers a comprehensive guide on how to effectively manage your voice, enabling you to navigate difficult conversations with ease. It provides valuable insights on improving your communication skills by avoiding common mistakes and demonstrating the best version of yourself. By mastering the art of steering conversations towards desired outcomes, you will undoubtedly experience triumphs in various aspects of life, including relationships and professional endeavors. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Amy K. Hutchins is an accomplished speaker, successful author, and highly respected business advisor. Having previously held a high-ranking position at a billion-dollar corporation, she now provides guidance to corporate executives and influencers globally, enabling them to improve their leadership, collaboration, and innovation skills. Her book, The Secrets Leaders Keep, achieved best-selling status on Amazon. With six key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, this text is emphasizing the importance of using your voice to influence others and achieve desired results. It highlights that individuals should consider what they can gain or benefit from the situation. Improving conversation skills is crucial for success in various aspects of life. The key is knowing what to say and how to say it. These summarizers provide techniques and phrases to avoid bad conversational habits that lead to tension and conflict. They also show how to handle power dynamics, give negative feedback, and diffuse fights. By approaching conversations with the right attitude and intentions, you can increase your chances of getting what you want. Key idea number one, being honest with yourself helps improve the quality of your conversations, leading to more profitable outcomes. The key point of the text is that it is important to know what you want before engaging in conversations with others. Self-reflection and being honest with yourself about your desires will lead to more productive conversations and help you make better decisions. It is also important to be open to different opportunities for fulfillment, as what you truly want may look different than you initially thought. Key idea number two. Conversations are primarily about either establishing connections or asserting power. Here's a powerful technique for productive conversations. Ask yourself if you're seeking connection or asserting yourself. Conversations are generally about connection or power. Choosing connection means focusing on the other person's wants and needs. Choosing to assert yourself means focusing on your own strength and self-respect. Different situations require different attitudes. In personal relationships, seeking connection is important for a healthy relationship. Putting your needs first creates an unhealthy dynamic. Focusing on helping your loved ones get what they want can lead to a dedicated support network that helps you succeed. Key idea number three. One effective approach to handling power plays at work is to avoid getting involved in them. The key message of this text is that self-assertion is important in the workplace and can help establish authority, communicate effectively, and deal with power plays. The best way to handle power plays is to refuse to engage with them and respond with tolerant and forgiving language. In some cases, it may be necessary to address the problem directly, but it should be done calmly and maturely. Key idea number four, offending someone's ego decreases the likelihood of getting what you want from them. During tough conversations, it is important to consider the internal conversations happening in your own head and in the other person's head. These internal conversations can sometimes drift away from the topic or be opposed to it, especially if the ego is triggered. The ego hook is a self-absorbed thought pattern that occurs when a person feels criticized. Offending someone's ego can lead to defensive behavior and hinder productive conversation. When giving feedback, it is important to use language that doesn't trigger the ego, 
such as avoiding superlatives and offering constructive advice without criticizing the person's methods. The goal is to provide feedback in a way that doesn't admonish or explicitly mention the person. Key idea number five, the deflate technique can be used to prevent explosive arguments. It's important to avoid petty fights in relationships as they can create tension and division. The deflate technique can help redirect conflicts towards resolution by agreeing with the other person's concern and asking for their help in resolving it. Avoiding conflict is healthy, but constantly avoiding fights may indicate deeper relationship issues. It's best to have important conversations when both parties are relaxed and have had time to eat. Key idea number six. Requests and questions can be effective in motivating action. After a conversation, it's important to ensure that both parties take constructive action. Making requests or asking questions can motivate action. By making requests, you spell out the exact behavior you want. Asking, what happens when... Questions gets people to think about the consequences of their actions and leads them to change their behavior to avoid undesirable outcomes. In conclusion, the key message is that improving your communication skills, including your speech, emotional control, and empathy for others, can lead to more enjoyable and rewarding conversations, better connections with people, and more opportunities. The advice given is to plan, practice, and role-play before tough conversations to sound confident and avoid stumbling over words. Additionally, the recommendation is made to read What Got You Here Won't Get You There by Marshall Goldsmith, which addresses behaviors that can hinder professional advancement and offers strategies for improvement. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories, and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.